This video will demonstrate how to build a reinforced concrete slab for a pit latrine. In order to build a reinforced concrete slab, you will first need to prepare a wooden frame that looks like this. The frame can be made with notched boards which interlock to make a square and should be at least as high as the desired thickness of your slab. To build a slab, you will need the following materials. You can find this list as well as instructions for how to build a slab on our website, which is provided at the end of this video. Step one is to level the ground and assemble the frame. You may also want to use paper or plastic to prevent the concrete from sticking to the ground and to reduce the loss of slurry. Next, cut the steel reinforcement to the appropriate lengths and place the pieces inside the frame to create a grid. Don't forget to place the drop hole mold in the center. If you are building a ventilated improved pit latrine, a piece of pipe can be placed in one of the back corners of the slab to reserve the space for the vent pipe. The spacing between the steel will depend on the thickness of the steel bar that you are using and the thickness of your slab. You can use this table to determine how far apart the steel should be spaced. In our example, the bars will be spaced 250 millimeters apart because we are using 8 millimeter steel and our slab will be 65 millimeters thick. Tie the intersections of the grid together firmly with wire and bend the ends of the wire down close to the steel bar. There should be no steel poking out of the concrete once the slab is poured. All the ends and wire should be covered by at least 25 millimeters of concrete to prevent corrosion. To help with this, be sure that you have at least 2.5 centimeters of space between the ends of the bar and the wooden frame so that the steel ends can be completely covered with concrete. Once every intersection is securely tied, remove the grid from the mold and set it aside. Make your concrete by measuring one part cement, two parts sand, and four parts gravel. The amounts of material will depend on the size of your slab, but the ratio will always remain the same. To make a 1.1 meter by 1.1 meter slab, you will need roughly 12 liters of cement, 24 liters of sand, and 48 liters of gravel. Pour the concrete until it fills half of the wooden frame and distribute it evenly. Next, replace the steel grid and add concrete until the mold is full. However, don't forget to oil your drop mold. This will make it much easier to remove once the concrete has set. Compact and smooth the concrete with a block of wood, shovel, or trowel. This will eliminate air bubbles which can weaken the concrete. If you intend to place footrests on your slab, these can be added now. Use a wooden mold to shape the footrests and be sure to oil them first. Smooth the concrete by working it with a trowel or steel float. This process will work the water up towards the surface of the slab, creating a smooth finish which will make cleaning the slab easier once it's in use. You can also use a trowel to make a slight slope towards the drop hole. Remove the drop hole mold, vent pipe mold, and footrests in one to three hours when the concrete starts to harden and smooth the edges. The wooden frame can also be removed after the first 24 hours. To cure the concrete, keep it damp and cover it with moist rags or plastic. The curing process is very important to ensure that the concrete strength is maximized. Let the slab cure for at least seven days before moving and installing it. Thank you for watching this video. For more information about latrine design and construction, please visit resources.cost.org or contact us at support.cost.org to speak with an advisor.